thank God for blessings in the past, to thank God for the blessings of this past week. In today's gospel, Jesus says, were not ten lepers healed? Where are the other nine? Has only one come back to give thanks? You have come here today to give thanks. But I also know there are members of our parish who are not here this weekend. How can we ever thank God enough? And even his son has given us the means to thank his heavenly father and our heavenly father through the mass every Sunday, every Lord's Day. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you through Christ Jesus. Fulton Orsler, the writer, tells a story about an African-American woman who helped to raise him when he was a child. And he used to mock her. His Christian faith was not all that strong at the time. Every time she was going to eat a meal, she would bow her head and thank God and say, much obliged, Lord, for this meal. And one day he mocked her for that and said, look, that food's going to be here whether you pray or not. Why do you do that? And she answered and said, well, food always tastes better when there is a grateful heart. She said, when I was a little girl, there was an old preacher that taught me a very important lesson that I've remembered. He said, every single day, look for God's blessings and praise God and thank God for those blessings. And if you look for those blessings every day, you will find them. And she said, I have. Except for this morning, she said. <laughs> I woke up, I was sitting on the edge of my bed, and I couldn't think of a single thing to praise and thank God for this day. I thought, and I thought, and then, she said, from the kitchen, Underneath then my bedroom door came the aroma of coffee brewing on the stove. And then I knew, and I said, much obliged, Lord, for the coffee, much obliged, Lord, for its smell. This woman later on in life was dying and Fulton Orsler, an adult, went back to attend to her. And he and some others were surrounding her bed, and her eyes were closed. And Fulton wondered, I wonder what in the world she'll be grateful for today. And the woman opened her eyes, and she looked around, and she smiled, and she folded her hands, and she said, much obliged, Lord, for such fine friends. How was she able to do this? It's because every day she looked for God's blessings in her life, and every day she found them. In all circumstances, in all circumstances, give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I ask each one of you during this Mass, this Eucharist, this supreme prayer of thanksgiving to God, to recall several blessings that you are especially grateful for today. And let the Lord know your gratitude. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am much obliged, Lord, for your fine blessings.